Hey guys, it's Brian Chandler and I'm back for another one of our vlog series videos related to COVID. And to start this one off, I want to ask you, what do you think the number one complaint is that we are hearing right now in terms of communications during this time? I'll tell you after the intro. So guess what? It's poor communications. That's right, companies are not doing enough to communicate right now to their teams, whether they're a nonprofit, a business, a school, a university. They're not doing enough right now to communicate to their employees, to their staff, to their teams in terms of what is happening and what they are expecting or anticipating from them and what the future is going to look like. Now let's face it, Hope is not a strategy. Hope that this pandemic is going to go away in the next couple of weeks is not a strategy. Hope that someone else will figure out how to do this and share it with your business is not a strategy. Hope that your employees will be understanding and knowing that we're in this pandemic and that they will give you some slack because you haven't communicated with them is not a strategy. Everyone needs to communicate consistently and frequently and clearly to their teams and their employees during this time. So I want to list three things that we're doing right now to help clients on this issue of internal communications. Number one, make clear decisions now and stick with them. Don't wait. Don't implement something different, but make a decision now and stick with it for the next four weeks, nine weeks, however long it needs to be until things change. By not making a clear decision now and sticking with it, it just brings misunderstanding and anxiety to your team and your employees. Number two, communicate often and clearly. Let's face it, the days of we'll get through this together are over. We have to figure out what we are doing now, implement it, stick to it, and have that be our strategy. Number three is to communicate via multiple channels. You've got to implement every possible way to communicate with your team, whether that's snail mail, email, an intranet, virtual meetings, or individual phone calls. It needs to be done, and that will help calm anxiety and help your employees and your team feel better about what the next two quarters could look like. Remember, if you need help, we are here. We're glad to suggest strategies and policies. We're doing this for a lot of different clients. They need help. They need our assistance. So don't hesitate to reach out to us. Don't forget to subscribe and please like this video if it's helpful for you and your organization.